What's going on there, YouTube? Vaping with Twisted 420 has returned. And today we're finally doing that little fucking box I love. Today we're going to take a look at the Castigator box, aka the Punisher box, by Emperor Vape East. Let's go ahead and have a look at it, why don't we? <laughs> and we are back we are back once again and we finally got this little fucker i really really like this box um it's the castigator by a new company from the philippines emperor vape east now i'm gonna warn you guys right right ahead this is not a hashtag team cheap mod but i gotta say i, I absolutely i I'm gonna get it out of the way. I love this little fucker. Look at how small it is. I put it, uh, I got a picture. I put it next to a pack of uh, Marlboro 72s that a dude had. He was throwing away his last cigarette. It was pretty cool the other day. I took a little video, put it on my Facebook. But uh, here's a picture of it next to a pack of Marlboro 72s. And it kind of looks like a Marlboro pack with the design, I will admit. Here's a picture. So yes, if you know how small a pack of one of those is, you know how small this fucker is. It is... I mean, there it is in my in my mitts, which I do have big hands. But it's the tiniest dual 18650 box that I have owned so far. Let's go ahead and nip something else in the bud. The only people selling these in the U.S. is the shop I work for. Go figure. Uh, Voltage Vapor Shop is the one that's going to be selling it. And the price is going to be $195. $195 is the price of this box. So, yeah, it's up there. It's up there. But yeah, is it worth it? You be the judge. Well, I'll show you stuff and things as time progresses. And here's the thing about the whole voltage carry and the thing. I take all the stuff that I get in to work. I took this bitch to work and I was ranting and raving about it because I love it so much. And the owner got it, started playing with it. He's like, man, this thing is fucking awesome. He's like, uh, where, where can you get them? I was like, they don't have a U.S. vendor yet. He's like, shit, I want to carry them. He liked it that much. So he picked them up. So, so there's that. All right, I'm going ahead and just getting it out of the way. I don't give a shit if you buy it or not, but my shop is going to be the one that's carrying it. So there you go. Yeah. You know, he liked it. What can I do? Um, oh yeah. Also I got shirts now. Uh, let's try not to make a big deal out of it, <laughs> but links are in the description. If you want one, this is a oops, son of a bitch shirt. It's got a, a hand dropping a mod that says twisted 420 on it. And the reason it's pink is because some Canadian dude dared me to wear a pink one in the video. So here it is. We got this one, sub on your dick off and a, few other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle style vaping with Twisted 420 shirts. Check those out if you get a chance, folks. All right, I'm sorry. I ramble. I get way off subject. Oh, shit. My mic's all fucked up. I gotta find a better place. I'm gonna hang. I'm gonna get a mic stand or something. Anyway, about this box. Dual 18650. Unregulated. Parallel. Um, it's all silver plated copper contacts throughout this thing. And it's fully mechanical. No wires or anything. I'm not going to take this box apart, people, because Todd, Mark Todd from Scotland, he just took it to bits the other day. I can't do a fucking Scottish accent. I'm, I'm horrible at it. Yeah, he's uh, he took it apart completely and put it back together. So I'll put a link in the description to Mark Todd's video. If I take this bitch apart, I might not get it back together. I'll drop shit. I'll lose parts. I'll just show you a few things, okay? If you want to see it broke down, I'll put the link to Mark Todd's video in the description. Uh, he took it to bits, my, uh, what, I fucking always go like Australian mixed with British mixed with, I can't fucking do accents to save my life. Anyway, um, the box, the white parts are made of Delrin and also the button is made of Delrin and the black parts are made of T6 aluminum. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Um, automatic adjusting 510. I'll show you. There's a couple little tricks to that. There's just like a little plate, a little silver plated plate that it screwed. I'll show you some stuff. But needless to say, folks, I really love this thing. For its size, I've just been using it every single fucking day since I got it. It hits hard. I know it sounds cliche as fuck, but it hits hard. And we will throw it on the voltage drop test rig. Uh, I really like the box, though, people. One of the things is the size. Okay, it's super fucking small. It gets. I like the look of it, personally. You got the little engraving with the guy with the guns and shit. This is number 420, by the way. 
That was really cool of them. They're only making a thousand of these too. I forgot to tell you that. So it's kind of limited. Um, they're probably going to end up getting cloned. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, they're making a thousand of these and this is number 420. And here's one thing else I love about it besides its, its size and how well it hits. Batteries out. Fucking like under two seconds. Really, really easy. And that's what puts this one above other similar size boxes in my opinion. It's just really, really smooth. Really easy. Got a little brass down there. It looks, it looks dope. It looks dope. I, I like it. Some people may not like it. It's going to come down to taste and opinion. But I love the look of it. I love the feel of it. It fucking does it for me. Let me have a toe. Fantastic. Fucking fantastic. So what we need to do to get to know the Punisher box a little bit better, we're going to dive up close and take a look at it right now. All right, folks, and here we are up close with the Castigator box. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I heard, I know Todd pronounced it a little different, but anyway, what else? Uh, first packaging, uh, number 420. That was awesome. EVE, Emperor Vape East. Simple little box, flippy dippy, bam, box is in there. No fuss, no muss. All right, now, as far as the main star of the show, here he is. You got a couple of guns and bullets and a cowboy hat and little aztec and stuff on the on the logo some people are gonna like it some aren't but i like it i like it i think it looks cool as shit um like i was saying delrin button and uh it works great every time you push it which is nice um here's your serial number right down here mine is 420 really really simple little box but also a really awesome little box for me man this thing just does it for me Got a little bit of juice up there. There's your uh, 510 connection. And it's kind of spring loaded, but there's no spring. There's just a plate that kind of bends down. What you want to do, you want to, before you put your batteries in, you go ahead and screw your Addy on. That makes sure that there's no pressure up against that battery. When you go to put, see that? Did you see it fucking, hold on. See that? It pushes it up. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, 510 works well. It's got a nice little design up here. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, being Delrin, Delrin, this white Delrin, you probably don't have to worry about any cosmetic stuff, but this black being aluminum, you're probably going to see a little bit of surface scratches and hairline scratches. That's that's perfectly normal. That's no big deal. You could probably, it'll, it'll buff out. <laughs> right down here are your springs. They are silver plated copper and your contact within the box is silver plated copper. If you want to take this thing apart, there's a lot of screws you got to take out and this hinge comes out. It's just it's just too much work. It's <laughs> it's way too much work. Oh yeah, for the rest of the video, I'm going to switch over to their Addy. Might as well show them some love on the Addy. This thing is awesome. It's got this top airflow that comes out of the side. Really nice. You get all these different color rings. We'll get to that in another video. But yeah, if you want to what you want to do is you take your Addy Go ahead, screw it down, get it nice and flush. Pop these bitches in like so. And what this does is you go, ooh, uh. So you go up and over, and then bam, it's latched. And you got this nice little grippy stuff here on the brass engraved, some nice little knurling. That's pretty dope. So yeah, it's really easy to get your batteries out. That's one thing I really like about it, like, bam. I'm using two uh, LG HE4s. I got them labeled and marked and shit. Um, that's another thing with this box. You got to marry a couple of batteries if you're going to be using them in this box. But yeah, really simple, man. Just a couple of contacts. Everything's fully mechanical. No wires. Just pop those bitches in and you're ready to boogie. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. Real quick, um, I'm going to try to keep this brief. We're bringing a couple of other mods to show you a size comparison. Here's the IPV2, I think, or one. I don't know. You can see it's a good bit smaller than that. <laughs> Here is the RDNA by Vapor Shark. Uh, the Vapor Shark is a little bit less wide, but uh, about the same thickness though. That's that just shows you it's actually taller than the Castigator. That's crazy. What else we got? We got the Zero Clone, which is pretty small, but it's still a hair taller. Pretty neat stuff. And then here's a iStick 50 watt prototype, which is a little bit taller. Yeah, and that's something. That's a quick size comparison right there. Now, what I need to do is pull up this voltage test rig and uh, we're gonna check it for voltage drop, folks. So let's do that. All right, I'm just gonna check my battery voltage real quick. 
see where we're sitting at. Looks like 4.13 is our starting voltage. Let's rock. All right, folks, here we are. We got this EVE atomizer at 0.24. That is what we're gonna test this at. Our starting voltage was 4.13. Let's see what we got. 3.38 is what we're looking at, which gives us a 0.75 voltage drop at 0.24. It wasn't even a full volt. That is not too fucking shabby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all, little fella. And you know what, screw it. Let's check it at, uh, let's check it at 0.5 ohm too. 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.
I'm, I'm really I'm really looking out for those guys. They did a lot of good engineering inside this thing. I really like the way it was all done. And if you go watch Todd's video where he breaks it down, you see how everything works. It's really, really cool. Um, overall, I think it's a good product, man. Uh, whether or not it's worth the $195, that's going to be up to you. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just here to tell you what I'd like and don't like about it. And there ain't nothing I don't like about the motherfucker, man. I, I just like this box. Sometimes you get shit and you just gush over it and you really fall in love with it. And this is one of those situations. Um, yeah, it's the fucking castigator box, folks. I really, I really like it. All right. Shout out to EVE. You guys are doing good things. Um, this it's on pre-order right now. I think they come in in like a week or so. I'll put links in the description. Um, if you want to go pick one up and, uh, really that's, that's all I got for you folks. It's a itty bitty little dual 18650 on regulated mod. Probably going to take this to vapor, uh, vape slam with me this weekend. Cause I like it. I like it. I don't drip too much at vape expos cause it's kind of tedious you got to do all this different shit you usually rock a clear miser or something but i'm gonna be rocking this little fella because i like it a lot i do i like it a lot and that's what i got for you folks i've rambled enough um i tried to find bad things about this bod I, this uh this bod oh yeah 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 box mod bod i forgot i created that word once before yeah i <laughs> i like the bod it's a good bod you know what i mean you got a nice bod on you but really yeah like i'm saying i'm done rambling anyway, anyway. so that being said thank you for watching I truly do appreciate it. Remember, it doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on as long as you're not on the stinkies. And last but not least, you stay sexy, YouTube. Me and the castigator are out.